You have the loot. Loot crate, that is. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Sephiroth 04 for this month's loot crate. This month's loot crate is the one for August with the theme of anti hero. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this because they promised a whole bunch of nice franchises. So, let's open it up. Uh, let's see. Also, as you can see, it has. This is going to be another one of those boxes that you can do something with. They did that with, with the loot anime? I don't know. They did that with a previous one. Holding my hair back. They did it with a previous one. Probably doesn't look too good. Uh, made it into a suitcase. So let's see how this one goes. <laughs> okay. First of all, let's let's just let's just jump right into the shirt over here. This is an archer shirt. If you don't know, H. John Benjamin is one of the best voice actors ever, by the way. But yeah, Archer is a fantastic show. Uh, yes, Sterling Archer. Danger Zone President. Danger Zone! Danger Zone, Lada. Danger Zone. And that's how you get ants. I can't, I can't do his voice, because he, he his voice sounds like he has a cold, but it also has emotion. So he had, he actually puts he puts emotion in his voice. I can't do that. Let's see. Yeah. Do you want a president? Because that's how you get a president. <laughs> I like that. I'm just gonna go around this. I'm gonna go to Hillary rallies and Trump rallies wearing this, and I'm gonna get voted for president. <laughs> Lada. 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 Danger zone. <laughs> um, there seems to be an extra piece of loot crate here, so that's gonna be fun. It seems this is a very assembly loot crate. Uh, next up is a figure. Ooh, this is kind of like the uh, the Hulk one that we got, except this one is Harley Quinn. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. Harley Quinn is a fantastic character, by the way made even more fantastic by the fact that in every good appearance she's been in, in my opinion, she's been voiced by Tara Strong, who is one of the best voice actresses out there, or voice actors, they don't say actress anymore, I don't know. one of the best voice actors out there, so, uh, yeah, oh, you know what this is like, uh, this is one of these things, so this is like the Batman that we have, that's cool, we could pose her with the Batman. Hi, Pudding. Miss me? Mr. J. This is fantastic. Let's take a look. <laughs> so it, it's her and the dog. And this is the uh, the Harley from, uh, I guess, in, I mean, it's the, the costume from the Batman animated series from the 90s. I'm just not sure if uh, the hammer's kind of bent, though. Um, not sure if this is this was also in the comics. Maybe I don't know. So what does this say? Uh, use a dry erase marker. Dovey now has to find the dry erase marker. Unless it doesn't come with one this time. No, we got this. Does this not come with the dry erase marker? The other one came with the dry erase marker. It's very possible Dovey also just dropped it on the floor or something, but anyway, uh, yeah, Harley Quinn. Well, I have the other one. Also, socks! Kill Bill socks! I don't know if I can give these to my brother because... I don't know. Kill Bill. But yeah, um... <clears throat> Kill Bill is a... Part 1 and 2 is a two-movie series featuring Uma Thurman and a whole load of other characters that appear in, like, every other Quentin Tarantino movie. And if you don't know, Quentin Tarantino is probably my favorite director ever. Um, he, he, I just, I love everything that he touches. And Kill Bill, the first one was, was the best one, in my opinion, but the second one was really good, too. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, had Michael Madsen, of course.
tags. He got the moves like Oma Thurman. I can't get her out of my head. It has nothing to do with Kill Bill. It's just Uma Thurman. And I like that song. Um, it's by... Fallout Boy? Maybe Fallout Boy. Uh, yes, the socks are, are like her... Uh, she had like a yellow jumpsuit type of thing. Uh, so they're covered in blood. I think my little... I should have my little brother go to uh, his first day of high school with this. Well, we'll get to the pin afterwards. Uh, next up, we got Hellboy, Right Hand of Doom Ceramic Bank. You can take that to the bank. The Blood Bank. That's from a Steven Seagal movie. A really stupid Steven Seagal movie. Um, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's his, uh, obviously, it's his right arm, uh, which is kind of like made out of stone, and it's a bank doesn't come with money though so what's the point that's pretty cute okay and finally we have a wow pin I mean technically it's the pin for this month but World of Warcraft which I haven't played since 2007 I want to say probably around 2007 I know I was still in high school, but I played a lot of it at the time. It was 30 days though. Uh, but yes, also the Loot Crate magazine, Antihero. Uh, let's let's do the transform your crate thing. Uh, okay, so let's see. Step one. Latin. and then flip over. Fold the insert to create the handle. Okay, so this is insert. Uh-huh. Okay. So I gotta fold it. It's like has a whole bunch of lines on it, so I gotta fold it like this. The problem with cardboard is once you fold it the wrong way, that's kind of it for you, so you gotta be careful and not do it fast like I am, but that was the brakes really. Um, let's try this again. The correct way, no, I'm doing it the correct way, yeah. Okay, so this folds into like a triangle shape. It's a, it's a catchy song. this is turning into now okay okay uh, so let's turn it inside out I guess why am I not able to let's try this again For some reason, I for completely forgot how to flip these things inside out. That's what happens when you get old, kids. Okay. See where this is going? 
have the uh, pull over here for the handle. And seven. Before closing the lid, push the tab end of the handle through the slots and secure. Uh, I just don't want to bend the bend the front, but. Almost there, almost there. Just gotta close it. Gotta actually close it, don't we? And now we have Harley's hammer. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Well done, Loot Crate. Well done. <laughs> I'm impressed. I would never try to hit Sephiroth. Bad idea, believe me. All right, so you're doing the right thing, the wrong reason? Do the less the moral means justify the positive ends? Would you do anything to achieve your goal except for that one thing because it's against your code? Congratulations, you're an anti-hero. Uh, very nice, very nice. Okay, so history of Harley Quinn we got here. <laughs> um. One of her pet hyenas, maybe Bud, it may be Lou, we're not sure. That's right, she named her hyenas after Evan Costello. I forgot about that. Um, something about Suicide Squad, I guess. I did not watch that movie, and I don't intend on doing so when we are in... When it's in theaters. <laughs> Favorite running gags from Archer, because those are good. Phrasing. Are we not using phrasing anymore? Send more like Bernie Sanders there. Looter! 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 It's good. It's good. I'm going to read this out now because I love Archer. Phrasing! Arguably the series' most used joke, at least was, at least in the first four seasons. It was so overused that dropping it became its own running gag in the show's fifth season, which sucks because now that it's out, we want it back in. I had something for this mainly used by Sterling Archer himself whenever he claims to have a joke or reference for a particular situation, whether or not he actually does as a whole of the story. He could very well be making it all up like a... Hey God, we had something for this. Tactile neck. Archer's preferred clothing choice when on missions, the tactile neck is simply a black turtleneck. However, Archer claims it provides a tactical advantage. Tinnitus? Tinnitus. Wah, wah. <laughs> Just tried to pop our ears one second. Wop, wop. <laughs> Babu. Oh, right, Babu. Generally speaking, every time Archer hangs out with an animal, it's comedy gold, but his interaction with Cheryl slash Carol slash Charlene, etc., his pet ocelot, Babu, has been a highlight of the series. I know that wasn't sarcasm, you fox-eared. <laughs> Burt Reynolds! <laughs> Burt Reynolds! It's hard. Sorry, it's a little hard to type over the sound of our uh, Archer's love for Burt Reynolds and his films and mustache. Let's say his, let's say, admiration knows no bounds, but the series really took it to the awesome zone when it actually cast Reynolds as himself in the episode The Man from Jupiter. It was fun. And, Danger Zone! Speaking of zones, the yelling at Lana until she pays attention slash Danger Zone bit easily ranks as the show's most popular running gag, all building up to Archer heading into a literal Danger Zone in order to find the real singer-songwriter slash possible Faustian bargain maker K-Log to perform at Lana's baby shower. Good times. I've rewatched that show several times at this point, 
and it gets better with every single viewing. And let's see. Uh, H. John Benjamin is also Bob from Bob's Burgers, and I think he's Carl from Family Guy, but uh, Bob's Burgers, to tendentially going on from that, um, Louise in Bob's Burgers, the kid with the bunny ears, plays Mabel in Gravity Falls, and it, it I can't not hear that. And I just keep expecting Mabel when I'm watching Gravity Falls to like start making some horrible suggestions and be a general pain, which she kind of is forgot the actress's name, but she kind of plays the same character, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try. Hellboy's Hot Wings. An anti-potato salad. Uh, let's see. Enter the World of Warcraft we got here. Mun's Pin. Uh, Sylvanas Windrun is one of the Horde's most divisive figures. Yeah, we know about her. She died. Um, turned into a, uh, siren or whatever. A Banshee. Right, Banshee Queen. This month's DLC includes all six expansions and a 30-day subscription. A 1999 retail value. Get on lootcrate.com slash pins. Well, that's cool. Maybe I'll play... Maybe I'll play WoW for a month. Also, a Suicide Squad comic. Mm. Eh. It's cool. For the people that enjoyed it, that's good. And now talk about loot anime. Because loot anime is awesome. And I'm very still very happy I got it. Also, it's like a... Does she have a name? Oh, is she Yume now? They actually gave her a name, finally. Oh, boy. I think I chose Aoi. Or something, I don't know. But, uh... Cosplay! I'm sorry that I'm, like, reading it to you, but pretend you're children again. The Mega Crate looks awesome. The Mega Crate has the Tarantino 8-film Blu-ray collection, Lego DC Comics, Batman stuff, uh, one of those giant Samsung curved 4K TVs, Harley comic, a Hellboy 2 figure, and, yeah, that's kind of awesome. Mostly the TV. And, uh, yeah. This month, The Magnificent Seven is coming out in the theaters, and that's a remake of the original Magnificent Seven, which is a remake, kind of, of Seven Samurai by uh, Akira Kurosawa. This is so cool. Uh, but yeah, so this was uh, this was a fun loot, uh, loot crate. I was going to say Let's Play. I, I actually really like this prop. It feels sturdy. Um, yeah, we got the, uh, we got the socks, we got the figure, we got Archer shirt, and, uh, the Hellboy bank, and some World of Warcraft, so, good times. Uh, yeah, so, we, they haven't announced what the next month's theme is, but when they do, it will be in the description, and thank you very much for watching, this has been Several 4 with Loot Crate. <laughs> See you next time, Puddin'.